two really important and two really popular learning strategies. Implementing something like this in Notion is really easy and I'll show you how you can do this. Hey there and welcome back to the Notion for Students video series. My name is Janosz and in this series we're building a complete uh, organizational system for students using the Notion productivity software. Um, if you haven't watched the other parts of the series, I recommend you check them out first, especially if you're pretty new to Notion, uh, because we're covering some really important concepts in these videos as well. Um, also, these videos are um, built around a set of templates that I've created, uh, which are available for download in the description down below. Uh, so check that out if you're interested. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into the video. We're covering uh, two really important and two really popular learning strategies in Notion, or generally speaking in learning, but uh, we'll cover how to use them in Notion, which is uh, on one hand active recall and then also spaced repetition. So the idea of active recall is that just reading through your materials isn't enough for you to actually understand them. If you've got a text and you just read through it five times, uh, you will not probably not re remember uh, most of its contents, especially not when asked like, like a week later. Uh, so instead what you have to do is to test yourself. Um, a great way of doing this is if you ha are taking notes uh, on a class or if you're like reading through a text, uh, is to write down questions about that text and um, come up with the answers to them. And then later what you want to do is to ask yourself these questions repeatedly. And then without looking at the text, uh, you want to try and remember what the answer was. And um, then if you don't know the answer, you just go through that question again uh, the next time and so on. Implementing something like this in Notion is really easy and I'll show you how you can do this. Uh, so we'll just go to our notes and practice database um, because we just need a generic note and we'll just call this active recall. And now let's add in our notes. So there's one block in Notion that's extremely useful for this feature or for this learning strategy and that's called the toggle block. And what it pretty much does, it, it creates this kind of toggle button. So pretty much what it allows you to do is to toggle away some content, um, like the answer to the questions you wrote down, um, so that you don't see them. And then um, you could like um, check if you actually knew what the answer to the question was. So uh, we could write down like a simple question, um, like, um, I don't know, what question could we ask? Um, what's, What's two plus two <laughs> for a really simple question. And now in the toggle, we could uh, write down two plus two equals four. Um, and now you see we can toggle away the answer and uh, have just the question. And now we have to actually think about the question, uh, think of an answer and um, maybe just write that down while you're doing this. And whenever you're ready, uh, expand the question to see what the actual answer was um, to check if, if your answer would have been the correct one. So as you will probably not get all of the answers right the first time around, uh, what I would recommend you do is if you have multiple questions, I will just duplicate this one a couple of times um, to actually color code them. So if you're going through these questions the first time around, uh, then just leave them blank and then uh, see what answers you actually got right and where you had like some minor or even bigger mistakes or where you actually even didn't know anything. And then like uh, add in a color scheme. So you could uh, color these different questions. You'd say, okay, the first one is really easy. Uh, we'll give this a green background because we knew the answer perfectly. Uh, maybe the second question, if it was like, what's two? times two, maybe that would have been hard for us and uh, we didn't get it right exactly. I don't know how this would be possible, but let's just pretend. And uh, then we would say, all right, this then gets a yellow background um, because we had some mistake with it. And maybe uh, we are not able to divide two by two because we don't know how it works. And then we could color code this with a red color um, to, to, to symbolize that we didn't know the answer to that question. A big shout out to uh, Study Collab Alicia's uh, video on this topic because um, this really, really inspired me to do this or to implement this strategy. Uh, so go check out her video as well, uh, which also covers some really nice implementations of these learning strategies. 
Next, we have spaced repetition. And the idea of spaced repetition is uh, to counteract the forgetting curve. Uh, the forgetting curve pretty much describes how fast you forget things that you've learned um, once you've learned them. So if you're learning something today and you are not repeating the contents of what you've learned uh, over the next couple of days or weeks, then you will probably forget most of what you learned uh, within like two weeks. Um, so the idea is that you actually uh, consistently repeat the contents of whatever you're learning um, in order to counteract that curve and in order to um, yeah to, to remember what you what you actually learned. Again, implementing this in Notion is really easy. It just takes a tiny bit amount of work, but it's uh, pretty easy to do. Um, so let's just pretend this active recall is some kind of note that or some kind of uh, content that we have to revise on that we have to actually learn for college. Uh, now we could go back into our college OS and we can just uh, add in these uh, these things into our college manager. So let's say this is what we learned today. Uh, we started learning Active Recall today. So maybe we want to add it tomorrow as well. And what we are going to do is we'll just say add Active Recall. Add actually is a symbol you can use to directly link to a page. We'll say Active Recall. And then maybe we'll say um, one. Uh, so to, to indicate that this is the first re revision, uh, we could ma even ma maybe put this in, in brackets to make it, to make it uh, easier. Um, so we'll do this tomorrow, uh, then again we'll do this in three days, so on the 19th, add it again, let's say active recall again, oops, I'm not able to type right now, uh, we'll say two, and then again we'll say, or, all right, we'll do this again in Let's say five days, yeah, that sounds all right. Put it in here. Do a adding three. And uh, then the last repetition will be one week after we actually started learning. So this will be active recall again, and then we'll add in a four. And now you see we've added in these different repetitions that we have to do. And then now because we use this add symbol, we can actually just click on that and we'll get directly taken to this uh, page where we added our notes. So this can be any of your notes pages. Just use the add symbol and then type out the name of the note or the page and uh, you can link to that directly. And then each time uh, you go through these questions, uh, just uh, add or, or change the different color codings. Uh, so once you you maybe like get a question right that you um, didn't get right the previous time, uh, just make that green as well and uh, so on. All right, there you go. This uh, is the uh, active recall and space repetition implemented into Notion. Uh, just one extra tip, you can download the Notion app for your um, iPhone or for Android. This way you can even like do this rep these repetitions uh, while you're on the go, while you're on the train or something like this. So you can use your, your time to, to revise uh, the uh, stuff for your college. All right, that's it for this video. I hope I'll see you in the next one. It was a lot of fun showing you these, these uh, learning strategies. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And also, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. That's it, take care and bye. See you in the next one.